up everyone it is me Spectre I am back in the cockpit for another rowling rouse of rowingness um first thing I want to start off with is I actually want to start off with uh, most some of you may have seen my last video where I just hit a patch and uh, there was no um, public chat and I actually figured out all you have to do is you have to go to settings and you actually have to click apply or enable all chat really kind of weird how they have it they've even got enable uh, team chat and last chat really kind of weird how they did that but anyways um, that's it we're still driving the same mech the destroyer or well, scrap metal excuse me so we're gonna go ahead and jump in here with as many matches as oh excuse me as I can hit uh, not much new on the Mech Warrior universe. Not much that I have to report, anyways. Things are quiet for the time being, but anyone who truly knows the Inner Sphere knows that nothing stays quiet for long. I am still excited to see how that, um, see when the new map is coming out. I really hope they do get that out soon. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I want to say I'm sorry because I got nothing to talk about, but you guys are probably like relieved that I'm not actually talking to my, talking to anybody. I don't know. <clears throat> You know, something kind of funny, I watched a video by a guy that I had subscribed to, his guy's name is C.A. Cox 97 and he's a good guy, and a bit weird, but he's a good guy, and he made this video, uh, knock, knock, and it was, like, just really kind of weird, and I read the description, and I was, like, even more like, what? And the whole thing, I mean, I'm sitting here, and I'm watching this thing, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go grab a shotgun, or the nearest firearm and I'm going to blow that sucker if he comes through the door and it was just so weird I'm not gonna give away anything because I mean you guys should go and watch it he's a good guy he did a lot of nerf videos he did a lot of nerf videos early on but now not so much he's actually got some skill when it comes to editing I'm just I've got Windows Movie Maker I don't I can't afford to get um, something like Adobe uh, Premiere or Adobe Audition, which is the programs that I want. I want those programs. I've used them before and I really like them. I just can't afford them. Oh, nothing like a good root beer. I love root beer. It's my favorite drink. For soda, at least. Of course, it really kind of depends. I mean, if it's in the summer, for some reason in the summer, I lean more towards Sprite. But uh, when it comes to the winter, I'm more towards root beer, which is, it's kind of interesting how it works. But this space map, I, it's cool. I think it has good applications. I think it's better for a conquest match than anything like skirmish. I don't know why. I just don't like it for skirmish. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. Really, excuse me. So now if you guys will notice, I now have an online. all chat. Which, Sensors I like having online. all chat. I mean, it, I kind of like reading the banter between... All systems nominal. Um, between everyone. It's nice, it's fun. It, it's funny, it really is. I've, had, I've seen some really good conversations, and I've seen some people get in... I've seen one or two people get in arguments. Okay, well first of all, that comment was pretty good, I guess, I mean yeah, there's no camp capping here, but still we can still lose, and the fact that somebody with weapon, with random weapons fire shot my right arm, 
That irritates me. Guys, don't do it. Granted, even yes, I do it. I do random weapons fire. I will admit this. I do it. But flamers are harmless. I mean, Target they're not going to cause any damage to the mech. The problem with these guys is that they're just randomly firing, not thinking about the mechs around them, and it, it really irritates me. Every, every point of armor that I have is important. And the fact that people just randomly just blow it off is really irritating. And I hate it. I just run myself right into a post. That was brilliant. Okay, I probably should just turn around and go back to attack that other guy who's in our back nine. Because I don't actually want to get totally shot. Left torso critical damage. SRM ammo destroyed. Heat sink destroyed. Warning incoming missile. Yeah, I really need to reconfigure the armor. I'll get around to that eventually. I keep saying eventually, like I'm actually gonna get around to doing it, and I do intend to get around to it, it's just I don't. Now that actually did hurt a little. My rear armor is shot. I have to reconfigure that. It's always so hard to balance it out between front and rear torso armor. I never really know what to do. It's kind of a hit and miss type thing. And another thing, you get you get pilots who don't know what the frick they're doing. I mean, they just shoot off in random directions. And it's Morning. really... I'm gonna die. I already know this. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Morning. We're going to die. Da -da -da -dum. We're going to die. Da -da -da -dum. Warning, incoming missile. I have no cover, Keep no AMS, I lost my pulse laser. Uh, yep, there we go. I'm dead. <sighs> I hate that. Okay, you know what? I'm tired of this. I'm gonna reconfigure my armor after this. I just I can't take it. I'm tired of this. And so what if I reconfig my mech? Lots of people reconfigure. I reconfigure. I'm constantly changing things about my mechs. Because I'm always finding flaws in them. Granted, normally those flaws are small and I can overlook, but I can't always overlook them. And you're just sitting there, getting shot at. That's always a Remember, boys and girls, when fighting in a mech, always stand there and get shot. It's your best chance at getting killed. New Don't forget that, kitties. Acquired. New target acquired. I really hate when you're so much of a noob that you can tell who's target a noob. Destroyed. I mean, I don't know if this guy's a noob or not. It's just... I don't know. I... But you guys know what I'm talking about. When you've got someone out there who you know, you can just look at them and tell that, oh yeah, they're a noob. And you know, I don't, I don't, I don't hate noobs. I don't. I respect them, in some case, in some fashions. I mean, if you're a noob who comes out here and you know that there are better pilots and you're not the best, then hey, I'll, I will, I believe the word is sympathize with you. I'll be. Target I mean, acquired. if you come out here, you're like fresh off the field and you expect to be the greatest of the great, and you lose your first match and you throw a big temper tantrum, then uh, no, you're not getting anything. You're not going to get anything from like any pilot. They're going to look at you and they're going to look, yeah, you're, you're a wuss. You can't. You're a wuss. You suck. But a pilot that can lose acquired. with dignity a or a rookie who can understand that he's not the best out there, then I'm going to, then you'll get pilots who will be, okay, yeah, you know, hey. It really all depends on how you carry yourself, and that's really important. I've met a few snarky pilots that think they're the best. 
And to be honest, maybe they've had grounds in the past. Maybe they haven't. I couldn't tell you. New target acquired. All I can tell you is what I've seen from experience. I feel like a lot of, I feel like I use a lot of terms very loosely. New target. Like when I'm acquired. saying I've seen a few pilots. I I don't know, I'm bad with stringing words together. New target acquired. You're getting tagged in a thing. Left leg critical now, damage. The reason why I hate a fang. A, excuse me, not a fang, a dragon. Just because the nose destroyed. on the dragon is so massive. I mean, if you can't hit the nose on a dragon, you are like the world. You're like from the past. You don't know how to operate a battle mech. Airstrike online. I mean, the fucking thing is massive. Target destroyed. For the record, I say feck. Sorry, a warhorn like that looks like it should be on like the outside, not on the inside. Like these giant two pairs of sonic cannon type things. Okay. So I'm gonna reconfigure my armor because that's killing me. Literally, it's it's quite literally killing me. <gasps> <laughs> So yes, we're going to reconfig that. You know, leave a... Um, let me know in the comments if you guys actually want to see me. Okay, now I'm going to show you my loadout for a sec, so don't be creepers, okay? There. Reason... I'm going to put 20 back there. Just because it's like more. I'm not really cool on the fact of having 104 to the chest, but we all make sacrifices. Ah, hopefully that fixes my rear torso problem. Maybe we should put 25 back there. I don't know. I'll work something out. So that was match one. We have another ten to go. Or not not another ten. Jesus, another ten matches. Ooh, we'll be here for a while. Uh, no, we have another four to go. Bang, bang, bang. River City! Yay! I like River City. You know, um, let me, two things I want you, two things, uh, let me know in the comments if you guys actually want to see me see more of the mech lab, yeah, like, when we do reconfigs, if you want to see that, uh, go at, wow, that's a really long name, I don't even know how you say that, can't make, make it better, can make it worse, oh, okay, I get it, can't make it better, can't make it worse. Reactor it's a pretty good saying, actually. Because if you can't make something online. better, then you, you kind of really online. can't make it any worse than it already is. All systems I mean, that's a saying of... That, that's kind of a situational saying, but still, I think it's a good one. I might start using that. But, uh, leave it... Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of, like, when uh, I reconfigure a mech. Or let me know in the comments when if you want to see. Oh, I was trying to thought. I lose that train way too often. I could put a tracker on that train and I'd still lose it. <laughs> oh, we got a guy pushing in our turret. Um, you know, let me go ahead and stay here and defend. I mean. I know I've gotten shot at once or twice, but uh, I don't know. I kind of feel. I try to listen to more of my gut than my head. I find that oftentimes intuition is better than what you think is right. Like, say for instance, if I think buying a pack of gum is correct, I think it. 
but intuition says, you know what, no, you should save that money for something else, and Target then that something acquired. else turns to be like, um, I don't know, a movie that you want to come out and go see. I mean, right there, your own intuition just save, save you some money. That's a very basic example. I'm just kind of using it as an, I'm just using it as an example. And Target an destroyed. On a job pod. I am illiterate Warning. tonight. Incoming. Oh, that can cover. Haha, <laughs> I thwart your missiles. Oh, nope, those aren't me. Haha. <laughs> Ow. Okay, laser burns. Those hurt. Oh, shit. I mean, shoot. I mean, snap. I mean, ah! Okay. That was very unpleasant. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little bit extra weird tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with these two, because I've learned that with this mech, you have to stay with the main populace. Otherwise, you get shot up. You get shot at a lot. At least with this variant right now. Well, the armor's doing better. Warning, incoming missile. More missiles ducking cover! I'm gonna hold here until that lock gets broken. Another reason why I want target, or not target, radar deprivation. Because I'm sick and tired of freaking LRMs. Anyone out there who says radar deprivation is, like, useless is stupid. Because, I mean, if you break line of sight and the target can't see you, why wouldn't you do that? Let's ask Zot's question. Oh, hello, Mr. Highlander. I think I actually shot him in the head. I may have. Tell you what I will know. You know what lasers are good for? Practicing at the sun. Ah, okay. I got forward gear. Okay, here's something interesting for you. What if X had a gearbox? Like a car. And you actually had to shift the gears around in order to indicate which direction you wanted to go. How screwy would that be? A mech that uh, What's your mech? Oh, mine's a stick shift. Morning, incoming. I'm Missile. sorry, but if that was the case, that would totally throw me off. It's like, mechs with stick shift? I've never even heard of that. getting tired with something like an LRM-5. Now, in this case scenario, LRM-5s are very useful, are going to be very effective against me because of the fact that I am an, uh, I have no AMS. I have no missile defense systems. I am completely vulnerable to any form of missile attack. And I need to move. Why can't I move? Because I'm not... Because I forgot... I forgot how to pilot mech. <laughs> Stupid fly, get out of here. There's another intro. There's some more food for thought here. What do you do if you have a, a fly that's trapped in your cockpit? I mean, wouldn't that just drive you insane? I mean, you're trying to fight, and all you, and all you have is... That drive me crazy. Like, get out of here! And another thing, do mechs have windows? I mean, of course they have dash... They have windshields, but can you just, like, open a window and let the fly out, or is the whole thing sealed? I would think that because mechs tend to drop in un- Get out of here! This fly is impeding my my driving ability. Oh, but I would think seeing how mechs see multitude of different- Ooh! Nice one! That's a revenge kill for you, buddy. Yep, that's me. Always giving. See? I'm giving right now. I'm giving another mech pain. Aren't I thoughtful? 
But I mean, I would say that because mechs are me handle so Target many different, destroyed. yay, so many different terrains, I would say that they are sealed. So therefore, there's no actual way to open them outside of going back to a pressurized environment, opening the door and stepping out of them. Funny how no one uses team chat. They probably don't even have to switch. Ow, that was my knee. I actually got a one where I had like two kills and like ten assists. Totally, I had shot everyone, and it was super cool. I love this message. Animals were not harmed in the development of MechWare, but humans were. I love that message. That's my favorite tip. Because it's totally, it's funny, but it's absolutely useless for helping you play the game. It's just awesome. And that's number two on our list, so let's hit number three. Terra Therma. This time it's a resource map. I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last time in a resource map. If you guys have seen Day 7, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, this cord... The headphones for my cord are so... The headphone... The headphones that I use to record the to record the cord is so long on them. It's so irritating because it's always getting wrapped around the wheels on my chair, and it's just it bugs me because I try to move or do something and it gets caught, and it's like, why won't you stop? Why do you do this to me? Hey, someone who's on the uh, public chat, woo! LBS. Luxor Ballistic Stuff. There you go, kids. Hi, Jim. I wonder why people say hi. I mean, just, just why? I'm a very inquisitive person. I like to ask a lot of why questions. I don't care. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. YOLO. I do not like YOLO. YOLO has been forever, like, killed for me. Because everyone uses YOLO. And it's Oh, oh, excuse me. Everyone. Everyone says YOLO. And it's so irritating. I hate YOLO. I'm not even joking. Like, because at my school, you get a lot of people who are like, yo, they're like, hey, it's all YOLO, man. And it's just like, oh, God, shut up. I truly hate YOLO. Whoever invented YOLO, I mean, it's like, I don't hate you, Target it's just, it's irritating. Because everyone and their brother uses YOLO. For me, I mean, when, so, when, when something just, you know, totally wacky out of the blue happens, um, I use, I use, like, different ones. One of the ones, if you know me, you'll hear me, you say when something strange happens, it's like, hey, it's all gualum follum and get her with it. And anyone who plays Sid Meier's Civilization, good game by the way, can be a bit slow at times, but it's still kind of fun, you will understand that reference because you've heard the characters say, Wallum Follum and Gitter Whip It. Any of you who haven't have not been paying close enough attention, or at the time were being beaten over by a pink and blue fuzzy chicken with green and yellow polka dots. How that is possible, do not ask me. Look it up on the internet, people. Do you know why? Because the internet knows it. Everything. <gasps> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm extra weird today. Tonight? Today? 
right? Ah, oh, well, it's some point in version of time. You know what this point looks like? This point looks like it's cold. Let's warm it up. There you go. Point's all warm. We're in the middle of a volcanic planet. This is the hottest point in the entire map. And I just defrosted the point. Yep, you're welcome. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and help those guys over there who are attacking those mechs. A new target acquired. Looks like they all gathered over in D5. I got a lock on Fox. Well, okay, I had a view on Fox Trot. Whoa! PPC shots. Where are they coming from? Okay. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Flee! Run away! Some of the clan mechs, I can't help but think that some of them look really just, they, they look odd. I mean, the Puma looks pretty close to what, I, to what you'd see in uh, Mercenaries, and I'm basing that off what I've seen in Mercenaries, but a lot of the other stuff... Oh yeah, Ankle Biter, what you gonna do about that? What you gonna do? What you gonna, what you gonna do, what you gonna do when I chop off your leg? Target acquired. I realized that did not rhyme at all. You know what I'd actually like to know? Why is it that you people, like, subscribe to me? Leave it down in the com- I was saying that, I said that like a third part. Leave it down in the comments as to why you guys- Hey, who's shooting me? You saw shooting me, huh? New target it's acquired. not very nice to shoot people, you know. It's not nice at all. Well, I'm going to respond the mature and appropriate way and send several AC5 shells through his cockpit. And I believe in all honesty, fair play, and respect that that is the appropriate way to deal with the situation, assuming he comes out of hiding. Funny thing though, he was over here and he didn't even go after Epsilon. New target acquired. I guess he left the area. That sucks. I wanted to politely introduce myself. Target destroyed. Hey, how many people are dead? Oh wow, the, nearly the entire enemy team is dead. Target acquired. Everybody's dead, Dave. Okay, anyone out there who has never seen Red Dwarf. You should totally watch it. It is super, super funny. I love the show. I didn't like too much of the last season. Target I destroyed. Definitely did not like the Back to Earth series, but I the Back to Earth was like it was pretty much their way of closing out the series for good, and I didn't like it. But every other like a lot of the other episodes were super hilarious. If you guys have never seen Red Dwarf, or if you have Netflix, you can watch it on Netflix. Uh, obviously, you can watch it on YouTube if you guys got really ambitious. But you should totally watch. Um, you should totally watch Red Dwarf. And if you guys act, and if you watch Red Dwarf, even if you watch the if you've watched the first episode of Red Dwarf, you will get two jokes that I make. You will get a. You will get the. You will get the Everybody's Dead Dave joke, and you will get the Message from Holly joke. Actually, I, well, you kind of have to watch a few episodes uh, with Holly in him, with Holly in it, to really fully understand and appreciate the joke. 
I'm going the wrong way of everything. I'm just gonna go out. I'm so ambitious, I'm just gonna wander off in the middle. Oh, I see target, target acquired. Something. New target acquired. Oops. I just flushed my ghoul. Ah, oh, well. Ghoulin's cheap. Ooh, excuse me. Ugh. Last two mechs alive, I'm probably not gonna get to them target in time. Target destroyed. Last mech alive, I'm probably not gonna get to him in time either. Oh, oh, nope, not enough speed. Oh well. Target acquired. There's the last mech. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting to him in time, but I'm gonna make an attempt at it. At least I might get a spotting assist. I love my Irish flag. It's awesome. I was actually listening to the um the second dev. Vlog, or not devlog, the uh, podcast today while I was going through school, just trying to finish it out so I can move on to the third one, and I heard him talking about uh, cockpit items and Target all sorts of other destroyed. things, and that's Jenga. Also, watch the movie Paul, it's funny. You know what's funny? A lot of the, um, well, a lot of the cockpit items that I actually miss are ones that are, like, they come from, uh, okay, uh, Razer did this thing a while back where if you download their program or something, this was, like, way, way long ago, then you get a pair of, um, you, you get a pair of dice with the Razer logo on them, and I like the Razer dice much better than the blue fuzzy dice that they had, so... I did it, and oddly enough, those are the ones I miss out on the most, and I don't know why. It's like, I never get informed that they're, uh, coming out. It's like, what the f- I mean, she's like, guys, I mean, so far there's really- So far the, um, <laughs> this is not totally weird, but the fairy would have been one that I would have liked to get just for S and G. Um. I'm- I'm gonna try and be- clean here, and, I'll, and uh, those of you who don't know, uh, s and G is like, um, smack and giggles, is basically, that's the most politest way I can put it without saying it, uh, without saying it the way the Irish do. But I'm gonna go ahead and do these, uh, last two matches for you, and then I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, buzz off. You buzz off, man! Huh? Yeah, that's right. You don't know what to do with all this. You know why? Because this... But I miss out on those the most. Okay, now, Forest Colony, Forest Colony Snow, if they took this map, if they took everything about this map and cleared out all the snow, I'd say it's perfect. I just feel like Forest Colony, the normal Forest Colony map, is too dark. I don't know why, it just seems to be too dark. Hey, you know what would be a really fun cockpit item is if maybe some of you may not know this but a Rubik's Cube 360 it looks like a kind of folly thing with lots of pointy online. things on it Sensors the thing is that it, it's weighted in certain Weapons areas so it online. always stays level it's basically your it's basically a basic online. form of a gyroscope wait what was that on your shoulder oh, ah! no, no, no no I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm trying to get every way okay that looks like a vindicator yep that's a vindicator so small. I never saw a point really much for jump jets. If you guys like are huge jump jet supporters, then that's all well and good for you, but I just never saw a point for jump jets. I'm gonna do something that I don't normally do because it's usually gotten me killed, but I'm gonna go over in to uh, help out Kappa because most people are moving towards Kappa. And I don't like going into the water, because the water, you're really kind of exposed there. You don't have a whole lot of tactical advantage, and it's, it's, it kind of irks me. Irk. What a funny word, irk. Like, I'm totally irked by that. It's actually really cool, because I actually got a really fun kill here, where I nailed some guy with an LBX, and he just falled straight forward. It was really super funny. Ooh, we got hostile threats at Theta. I'm okay, don't worry about me. That's probably the guy who's over at, uh, Theta. I'm gonna see if I can't provide some kind of fire support. 
for him. Try and help him out. And my weapon's jammed. I had to have seen that coming. I mean, I kind of forced that on myself. A lot of you guys at probably might be thinking, like, why did I put SRMs in here if I never, ever use them? Um, I don't really know. To be honest, the way I built this mech is something that I, just, I really don't know how to build it. Ready to go. New target acquired. I've been doing I've been like doing nothing to this guy. One thing I can say though is that there's a small fight going on somewhere else. New target I think this is actually acquired. a pretty good tactic right here is because we're pushing more to the D5 and D4 era area. And I think that's good. We can sweep in and kind of tag him from the little side. I think that's better than trying to attack. Oh, there's a lot of mechs that just showed up. Okay, things are about to get very fun. I'm alone. I'm being attacked. I'm being shot. This is painful and not at all fun. I'm going to go ahead and cease all... I'm going to try and duck behind this cargo ship. Because that Atlas is pretty wounded. I'm going to see if I can't actually take him out. Probably because he was close to the point. Okay, I'm gonna do something stupid here and I'm, I'm gonna charge him. Yep, there it goes. That was stupid. What can I say? I take risks. Every now and then you do actually run into a complex pilot. I think it's Wonder Chip. Why does that name sound so familiar? I think I've heard of someone before. But I think this Wonder Chip actually has is a pretty common pilot. Hey! Excuse me for a second. What? Char! Sorry guys, I'm back. I had to take care of some business from my aunt. Likes to sneak up on me. That's what the second time in a row she's done this. New target acquired. Oops. Sorry. I meant gosh. Sorry. I'm sorry guys. I've had a little bit of a rough day. It's New target been acquired. long and tiresome and I've had I've had to deal with people, so yeah. I actually want to, I'd like to give a shout out right now to a place called the Airlock in, um, I forget where it is, it's something, it's like K, I, I don't remember the first three letters, it's K-I-K, -K. but I'd like to give a shout out to a place called the Airlock, and the Airlock White is super, damage. uber, 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 duper fun. Hey, it's Wonder Chim, what's he got? Streak 6 and 4 million letters, look at that one out. Two, oh, two. Eh, my bad. Well, technically it's a stick four. Ooh. Poor Wonder Chip is dead. But yeah, for those of you who have never heard of the Tesla Pods, the, uh, New target the Battletech Tesla Pods, they're like Mech Warrior come to life. I'm not even joking. You get a giant pod, and you have, like, you know how you have your weapons and your radar and all that junk? 
well, you have one big screen that's your dashboard, that, that's your windshield, and then you've got multiple different little screens called MFDs, multi-function displays, that are a whole bunch of other things, like one holds your damage, your weapons, your chat, all that stuff. It's super amazing. They're open Saturdays and Sundays, and I think they're open Wednesdays. They run another game called uh, Red Planet, which I'm not sure what it is, but... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do one more episode and then call it good. Uh, last time I gave you guys a bonus episode, so I don't know if there'll be any bonus episodes. Whoa, wait a second. Did I read that right? Oh, dude. Shortest wait time is assaults. I've never seen that. I've always seen shortest wait time is for, like, lights. That's all I ever see is, like, the fastest drop time is for lights. So, yeah, shout out goes to the airlock tonight. Boom. I just blew your guys's minds. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I'm just checking things out. On uh, my phones, I got a hot. Oh, good map actually, not too bad. And there's this thing here for like hot album sales, and it says "Don't kill the," and the album title is Magic. So altogether, it says "Don't kill the magic." I think that's pretty clever. Okay, we have a fresh drop. This is the last match of the night, people. Specter looks determined to win this. Looks like we're going to have a great, great matchup tonight. Let's see how's it going to go. It looks like the team is very strong. Looks like they got a few lights. They're yeah, starting over on the other online. side of the mountain. They're powered up. They're getting ready to go. They're psyched. Online. They're green. They're good. And, and with the blow. And with that, they are off. That's the sound of the whistle. Yes, sir. You heard it. And we have Spectre fresh out of the gate with a... With one of his Lance members driving a light mech looking to be a commando going out for the front. There. And the rest of the company is leading the pack while Spectre is bringing up the rear. He's looking prime. He's looking great. He's looking fantastic. And he looks like he's smacked into a building there, but he looks like he's okay. He's going. He can hear. You can hear the sound of gunfire in the background. And he's off. He's racing down the way at a good 53 kilometers an hour. Look at him go through those speeds. He's just blazing right underneath that overpass, using it for great cover. You can tell that he knows what he's doing tonight. He is all sorts of awesome. He is spinning his mouse. He's doing this. He's doing that. You never know what he's going to do next. And we have no action as of yet. I am really super bored. I apologize for rambling to you guys. I'm just trying to say stuff. I sound just like an auctioneer, and I really don't care. He's going to go ahead and take a light. He's going to go ahead and take a ride off and follow this mad cat up, from, uh, up the hill. You can tell that that mad cat has no ears. There we go. He is meant for brawling. There he goes, firing off two clan large lasers. You have no idea what he's Target doing. Acquired. We have a new mech out with ECMs. It looks to be a Kit Fox Prime. He's got two machine guns, two, two large lasers, and an LRM-5. Let's see what he's going to do. <sighs> well, that was weird. <laughs> New target acquired. Ugh, Commando. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Actually, another show that's really funny. If you guys want to... If you... If any of you... <laughs> if any of you Irish boys out there New want good Irish acquired. comedy, look up... Ooh, a raven. Look up Mrs. Target Brown. Destroyed. Boys. Mrs. Brown's boys is acquired. super, super funny. I mean, it'll keep you in stitches. It's funny. And the great thing is that it's filmed in front of a live studio audience, and the film crew is always like getting in the way of the show. Destroyed. Like they'll have this, they'll have a problem where one guy likes. They had this thing where one guy. He wasn't paying attention to how close the camera was to the set, and he actually crashed the camera through one of the set windows, 
and the actor who plays Mrs. Browse looked at him and was like, well, the camera crew's knocking down the fucking wall, er, excuse me, sorry guys, he's knocking down the feckin' wall, because the Irish say feck instead of the other one. What the, there's a shadow, where's a shadow? Am I just like chasing my own shadow or something? I probably am. But it's really super funny. Instructions actually pay out a lot, which is really awesome. big fan of the cataphracts up until I actually uh, started driving one and then looked. Oh, you took out my AC-20. You suck. Right. Oh, man. I was about to light him up the flamers. You suck. They have turrets. What is this? Kong? Ooh. Oh, that's acquired. No, that's a Acquired. Sorry for the accidental swearing, guys. I don't need you. There's a lot of freaking cataphracts on the field. What the... F what the freaking monkey frick? No, what the flipping monkey frick? There's like, that's like the fourth, ooh. That's gonna leave a mark. Normally mechs aren't supposed to skid on the ground. But that's like the fourth uh, cataphract I've seen. What the heck? This is like cataphract monstrosity. Oh, that's interesting. I think it's really interesting how this weapons, fire multiple shots, like these are 20 fires four shots, that's an example, it's almost like it's a, um, like it's an ultra AC weapon, but it's not, it's really kind of weird how they put that together, we've won this one fast, I mean, it's 7, or 10 to 7, already, granted, we've lost quite a few guys, but still, I mean, this is impressive, target acquired, Oh, no. son. Let's switch to this guy. He's gonna get the kill. Come on, man. Get the game winning kill. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, nice. No. Oh, let's go. I don't know. I'll give this guy a chance. This guy can only see ammo, which is bad. But I'll give him a chance. Come on, man. You can do it. You can do it. Critical. Oh nope, you didn't get the kill. It was this guy over here that got the kill. Sometimes I feel like I get kills but people steal them and it really it, it kinda it kind of irks me, but eh. You know, I'll pop one off. I don't know why, but I just I don't stick to the well, okay, I know why. But I don't do the much of the chat. I mean, I'll talk if it's a funny conversation, but otherwise, nah, I'm nah, not. Just keep my mouth shut. Okay, people, that has been the night. Uh, you might get a bonus episode, you might not. Can't guarantee. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me as I cough to death. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, thank you all for watching this. I appreciate it. Every view helps. Every comment you give is appreciated. Um, until next time, I'm Spectre, and you guys are YouTube, and I will see you all on the battlefield.